Hey y'all, this is Zach with Meals Under Pressure. All right, I am really excited tonight. How excited am I, Amy? Oh my God, he's about to drive me nuts. Yes. So okay. tonight we're gonna to make a video recipe for one of my favorite, my favorite dishes that we've made so far. World famous. World famous. <laughs> Zach Ward's world famous Meals Under Pressure. Beef stroganoff. Uh, this is really good. It's, uh, and we're gonna do it in one pot. I've seen a lot of other video recipes where they made it, you know, they cook the noodles separate and then add it later, but no, we're gonna do this all in one pot and it's really good. Now let me show you what I got. I got some stew meat, um, and you can use ground beef if you want, but I've got stew meat. Got a really good price on it, so I've got two pounds. And if you see it's cut to like inch pieces, I'm gonna cut it even further into half inch pieces. All right, so the basis of the stroganoff mushrooms. Now this is two cups. I'm only gonna use half of that. I'm gonna oh, use no, one. We're not. Hmm? No, we're not. Yeah, I'm only gonna use half of this, so one cup. All right, egg noodles. We'll see you inside. I got a 12 ounce a pack of egg noodles. I'm only gonna use half of that. Tonight's half night. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna get half. Worcestershire sauce, can of beef broth, can of cream of mushroom soup, sour cream, we're gonna add that at the end. Uh, minced onions, now if, if you have a, a small white onion, you wanna use that diced, you can do that. I'm just, I'm using minced onions because this is a mushroom based dish and I'm trying to overpower it with the, you know, with the onion flavor. So I've got to use two tablespoons of these minced onions. And uh, garlic, I wonder if I mentioned that. A couple cloves of, uh, two to three cloves of garlic. Now, my gravy mix, normally I use half a pack of brown gravy and I use a whole package of uh, stroganoff gravy, but I couldn't find stroganoff gravy in my store. So I'm gonna use one pack of brown gravy and then half of this, this mushroom gravy. So let me get busy cutting down my stew meat, get it all salt peppered up, ready to brown. We'll be back. All right, so I got my stew meat. I got it cut down about half inch pieces. I've got my saute function turned on on my, on my Instapot. So give the meat a good salt and pepper coating. We always get asked where we get these gravity fed salt and pepper shakers. I've got them off Amazon. I can post a link in the, in the YouTube. All right, so we got my IP on saute, and we add about a oh. tablespoon. Mm. Back it off. About a tablespoon of olive oil. And there we go. We're going to brown this for about five to eight minutes. Kind of get them browned on, on all sides, and then we'll be back to show you the rest of the recipe. All right, so we browned our meat for about eight minutes. Get all nice and brown them, almost all sides. Turn the saute function off. All right, gonna add my can beef broth. And now I'll just start adding stuff. All right, so I got my can of beef broth. I've got a can of cream of mushroom soup. Make sure I get everything out of there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this can up with water. that in there. All right, so I told you that I normally use stroganoff gravy, but I didn't, I couldn't find it, so I got mushroom gravy. So I'm gonna use a half pack of this mushroom gravy. And then a whole package of the brown gravy. We got some hungry dogs, so. Yes, I they're smelling one. all this they food. Smell food. It's right, so not for you. Two to three, I think it's actually four. You know, I go ahead and go when I. We usually do, yeah. yeah so. Got my uh, garlic in there, and I got two tablespoons of my uh, of my minced onion. And remember, if you don't have minced onion, but you, you have a, like a small white onion, you can use that. Mix them good. All right. Last but not least, for this part of the recipe, I'm going to use a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to add another wish, uh, tablespoon at the end. All right, so one thing I did forget in this recipe, I forgot the top. So I'm going to go get the top, and then we'll be back. All right, we're back. Got my top on, finally, set to the seal position. All right, pressure cook button or manual button, whatever model you have. I've got the pressure cook button here. And on mine, I have to hit it start. So I'm going to go for 10 minutes. 10 minutes on high pressure, and then a 10-minute natural lead. So, all right, we're back. 
All right, so we cooked on high pressure for 10 minutes and we did a 10 minute natural release. And just give it a quick stir. A lot of liquid in there, but that's what you want because you got to put in your, your noodles. So again, I've got 12 ounces of these egg noodles. I'll only use half a bag, so six ounces. So just kind of guesstimate there. That's probably a bit more, but about six ounces. So just need to make sure your noodles are wet. Stir them in there. Make sure they're wet. All right, now I'm gonna add another tablespoon of my Worcestershire sauce. So it's two tablespoons total, one before. Well, hello, Indy. I don't wanna throw the ball right now. So, Indy wants to be in the channel. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I've got my mushrooms. You don't wanna put them in beforehand because you want them to still be kind of firm. So just get those down in there. Where are those noodles? All right, so the lid goes back on. Make sure it's sealed. Pressure cook or manual button and bring it down to five minutes. All right, see you on a few. All right, so we cooked the noodles and mushrooms on high pressure for five minutes and did a quick release. All right, so after that, add in a half, half cup of sour cream after the fact. Mix that in until it's stirred in until it's, until it's uh, melted. All right, guys, here's our beef stroganoff. I'm going to tell you, when you cook this, you're going to see why I was so excited to make this recipe. I mean, this is this is good stuff right here. So we're going to get down to eating. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Meals Under Pressure. Also, we have a Facebook group page called Meals Under Pressure. But, uh, you know, enough talking. I'm going to get to eating. We'll see you all next time.